today's adventure I'm in MX Faim, which is the Gazelle Valley here in Jerusalem, located between the neighborhoods of Kadamon and Kiryatio Val. There's 250 acres here of uh, nature just in the middle of the city, close to Malcha, and uh, there is a pack of 30 gazelles here, and there's lots of interesting information on all these placards about the type of wildlife that's in this area. So this is just in the heart of Jerusalem. Um, access is free and uh, if you're looking for uh, a bit of nature in the city as I've shown a few spots already on this channel and this is one of the places you can check out. You don't really know it's here unless you uh, come looking for it and it's just set off the road uh, close to close to Malka. This is the uh, th South Meadow here and as it says there's a sign they emerged in the wake of the drying and uprooting the apple orchards that flourished um, in the valley from the 1960s to the 1980s. I'm now in the, uh, they have this lovely little wooden hut and uh, they have, this is a place to view uh, ducks and other forms of aquatic wildlife and you're supposed to keep your voices down here. But it's a lovely little structure and you can see they have lilies in the pond as well so a uh, great place to watch the uh, ducks go by. This interesting plaque here tells the story of the uh, apple pickers. The packing house was located at the centre of the park for sorting and picking fruit by the Freehar firm that managed the orchards. And you can see here some photos from when uh, there were apples being picked and shipped from these grounds. And you can see these lovely orchards and groves all around me here and there's uh, lots of informational placards for those interested in the history. We just managed to catch a few seconds of the elusive gazelles here and uh, here is the footage taken through the shrubbery. So if you're looking for a place in Jerusalem to get some outdoor time then uh, come to the Gazelle Park, entrance is free and uh, not so many people here and you can see these lovely orchards and groves all around me here and there's uh, lots of informational placards for those interested in the history.